Hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 366. I'm your host, Norman Sanzo. And believe it or not, we have news this week. We have three of them. Ain't that exciting? Yes. <laughs> so, anywho, let's hop on into the news. And first up is EQD stands on leaks. So, anywho, um, as you may have known, that the first half of season 9 has been quote unquote leaked. Uh, they're the Italian version of the show. And here's the thing uh, it seems that the show airing in Italy is a on demand kind of thing where you have the option to switch it to English. So there are some episodes that are in Italian. And if you know what you're looking for, you can get it in English instead. So, uh, EQD doesn't really um, promote it, or so. If you just they they then also they don't really police it. So if you do notice things like um, th those, how do I put this? Uh, if you notice some things like uh, in the comments, there's. Uh, which we'll call this links to where to get it and whatnot, and it's it's probably out there if you know what you're looking for. Uh, as for me personally, um, I don't really condone it, and I don't really go looking for it. If it's there, it's there, and my stance here is that this is the final season of My Little Pony, and I want to enjoy it. I want to savor every moment of it. And if I have to wait a few weeks just to catch certain episodes, then so be it. And you know, honestly, I get it. Like I, I, I get that people want to look at it now, 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 now. Hence, that's why we get shows on Netflix like um, Voltron or Shira or Castlevania and so on. I mean. Those are the things that I've watched personally. And yes, I understand. Like, you want it now. You want to just watch it and be done with it. But I think what? In this day and age where we get stuff on demand, on on the go, like, we just get it instantly. We don't really get that gratification of waiting. Um, back in their days when I was watching TV, we, we didn't have all those kind of things. We had to wait. Like, we have to wait a week. I, I remember watching Sonic Set AM. Uh, that one was a lot of fun. Just watching and waiting and <laughs> recording it on VHS tapes. Uh, those were the days, man. Those were the days before um, DVR, whatever it is. So, yeah, I did that before. I did those things. And just waiting to know what happened and uh, here's another thing. If you remember way back in the days, uh, Pony Season 2 intro, um, there were no back-to-backs. You have to wait for another week to see what happened to Twilight and her friends. Like, those were, success <laughs> those were suspenseful. So, good thing now they don't do that because those were suspenseful feelings. You want those to resolve fast. And yeah, I, I get it. Like, getting to see the show now, now, now is awesome and all but savor it S savor every moment of it like just watch it and enjoy it knowing that after this we may not get any more ponies g4 but we got no idea how g5 is going to be I, I do hope that g5 is good so we can keep continuing on this bandwagon so yeah um <clears throat> let's just hope that we don't get leak again like what we got in season Oof, season eight. That that's uh whew. But anywho, uh, let's hop into the next news. And next news is wow, uh, Equestria Girls probably possibly coming to an end. Uh, the Hedgehog's no longer producing it. So mm, I've read this one through, and according to the article, it seems that. Work on Equestria Girls has been finished, uh, according to the director, uh, Katrina 
Heidi, Heidi, hell, hmm, back with name. But anywho, uh, Katrina here says that um, the what you call this? Her directing work on Equestria Girls is done. There's no more that she know of. Uh, maybe there's stuff in the future. She got no idea, but whatever she's doing is done. And it seems that um, work with DHX is um, finished. Like there's no more. Uh, the Hasbro is not contracting DHX for more episodes and whatnot. And this kind of makes sense because with Equestria, sorry, with my season nine being the last season, and um, Equestria Girls is kind of a spin-off to the normal ponies, Friendship is Magic. It, it's logical that they ended with uh, ended at the same time. Do I agree? Do I like it? Not really. I, I kind of like Equestria Girls to have its own thing. But hey, if it's going to end, it's going to end. Like I know a lot of people out there don't really like Equestria Girls. But eh, I guess this is good news for them. It's going to end. Eh. But honestly, I would love to see Sunset Shimmer's adventure and so on. I, I do enjoy Sunset Shimmer. And uh, whatever we got is awesome and all. So I, I can't say much. I can't say much. <coughs> but hey, um, according to Seth here, um, we might get more news at San Diego Comic Con. So we'll see how it goes. M maybe we do. Maybe we do. And maybe we'll get more adventure with Sunset and her friends. So yeah. And last one the news. Ah, Boulder Media producing upcoming My Little Pony Rainbow Road Trip special. So anywho, um, <coughs> a while back we reported that uh, there's going to be a TV special called Rainbow Road Trip and this is going to be in the style of um, the uh, movie ponies and I think what they had that short animation clip of Twilight growing wings something like that yeah, yeah. and it seems that that was not done by DHX it seems that Boulder Media has been producing it and uh, the write up here is from what I can understand is that uh, um, Boulder Media is an Irish animation studio. Uh, they have did some of the ponies like um, from what I can see here. Um, they did well this one obviously and uh, the Cantalot uh, produced the so-called Cantalot shorts uh, part of the Equestria Girls Summer Time shorts online so they've done their work and I to be honest I don't notice the quote-unquote differences uh, is that a good thing is that a bad thing I, I don't really know and one thing I can say is that hey um, Boulder Media taking over interesting and oh um how do i put this the, one of the few things that puzzles me is why would hasbro uh, shift companies they have a really steady relationship going with dhx and suddenly going to boulder at the tail end of this that that's quite a puzzle if you think about it like why Obviously, money is the thing. Like, money is always the main reason for anything. But wh why shift at the tail end? Like, why couldn't you just stick with them till the very end? Mm, I got no idea, honestly. I'm just thinking that probably money, ch like, it's much cheaper with Boulder, probably. Obviously. But who knows, right? Um, as long as it's done and as long as it's out there, maybe... Okay, here's one theory. Maybe they shift to Boulder to avoid media leaks because um, 
<coughs> with DHX it's a growing company it's going big and a lot of disgruntled employees so that's why they feel that moving to Boulder seems to make a lot of sense I don't know I'm just theorizing here so and since Boulder is kind I, I'm not sure if they're new but I haven't heard of them before but in all honesty I haven't heard of any other animation company besides DHX because before this we don't really pay attention to uh, the company that makes all this show until Pony came in now uh, we do take notice and <laughs> honestly I don't really remember I only remember DHX <laughs> because of ponies but uh, um, we'll, we'll see how it goes and I do hope that Boulder Media here does a good job and honestly hmm, you know what this could be the tree special that came out where Twilight was sick and whatnot. it could be done by them I need to double check I'm not 100% sure but that's a theory and well uh, Boulder here, they put out a message on their Facebook and it goes like this. See these lovely people? Well, this is the Boulder crew, most of them, responsible for My Little Pony Rainbow Road Trip 60-minute animated TV special we have been working on over the last year and a half. Last night, we got an advanced screening in the Odeon, Odeon Cinema. The show will go full release on June 29th on Discovery Family and on uh, sorry, and then on to Netflix. This crew is one of the kindest, hardworking, funny, talented bunch and we are very proud of our show. Looking forward to its full release. Much awesomeness. And we too are excited to catch it. Like, we fans love the show. And yeah, can't wait. Can't wait. And with that, let's go on to the next topic. And the topic is what have I been doing with my week? <laughs> and this week has been a bit slow. <coughs> um no cough so that's good and how do I put this I didn't get to watch m the movie like the John Wick 3 <sighs> really should have tried but timing and whatnot so it's a bit difficult but um, besides the um, obvious Overwatch and Magic the Gathering I kind of finished Dark Souls 3 a third time <laughs> <laughs> oh man um and honestly that game was pretty interesting I, I think I've done this nine no yeah I, I said sorry um three more times and as I go on it's really fascinating because uh you have that power trip you you start off low level like you start off very poor like you've got no you got no power you're just some scrub and then you work your way up <coughs> you work your way up and you get more powerful you get more skill you get more better weapons armor and whatnot and you move on to the next game or the next uh, chapter or new game plus then you know what you're doing because hey I've done this I'm got better gear and whatnot and you go on and on and uh, I kind of like those things, like those power trips, like, yeah, I, I'm doing this good, I'm doing this good, and then suddenly uh, something new comes in your way, and then you got no idea how to deal with it. Yeah. So, yeah, i um, been playing that a lot, but I think I'm ready to stop and try some other things, because I do play other games, and I, I do play other things, and unfortunately, work is in the way sometimes, so... Uh, but oh, <coughs> what else? What else? Nothing much really. Just been catching up with other shows, Ducktales, the 2017 reboot. And then I should probably watch Shira, Princess of Power season two. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot. 
other than that nothing much just been relaxing and doing work and why not um hmm yeah I got nothing got nothing but what else what what should i do for the future probably try and watch john wick if i can if not i'll just wait for the dvd or blu-ray or digital download yes <coughs> but yeah uh that's it for my quote-unquote week it's been kind of slow it's one of those week where oh yeah um here's something i did today it's kind of mediocre and boring but um i clean up my room and i have old magazines um and i thought like okay i i don't really need these magazines anymore these are kind of cluttering my room and i should really do something about it so i compiled it into a box and uh, put it in my car and i send those to the recycling center and I, I I got no idea how it works for you guys who are not in Malaysia but um, we here have a bunch of recycling centers and I send my junk over there and I get some cash which is kind of cool like I remember the last time I did it with newspaper and that got me about 20 ringgit and honestly 20 ringgit is just dirt cheap um the conversion rate for american dollars is uh f a dollar equals to four ringgit so if you divide it by that so 10 ringgit is equivalent to four dollars and i earn 20 ringgit that was what a few years ago for a newspaper and i got eight bucks yes all that hard work eight bucks and this time around uh got in some well my old magazines and a bunch of bottled water because family loves to drink bottled waters and whatnot yeah whatever so got that compiled that and my grand total for my effort of just collecting my junk and putting it in my car and driving it to the recycling center earned me about 12 ringgit and that's equivalent to um hmm five bucks probably <laughs> uh, so the, the recycling game is a tough one it's a really questionable one and i don't know how you guys do it because sometimes we have a bunch of people carrying in like they they, they have their truck coming by our houses and then they um do they call like hey uh, like they this whole spiel that uh, they play on a tape recorder and, like that and goes like um all newspaper buying them whatever and then when you do sell it to them they just give you really really not worth it come back like like i uh, for my junk i got 12 bucks or 12 ringgit um i remember my mom doing it and got her five ringgit and don't think about the conversion rate if you really think about it it's not worth it but think locally and just doing a bit of work you get an extra amount of cash because here's the thing it's either you recycle and get something back which is cool or you just sell it to the person and you get squat sometimes like i remember my mom saying that all the effort that all those stack of newspapers just got her about two five bucks like damn if she would have s go to the what you call this recycling center she have got 10 10 20 or maybe luckily 30 so yeah i mean it's one of those cases where time and effort doing it at home or just letting someone do it banks you a little but you don't really need to go that far wasting gas while if you do go there yourself you can earn a lot but you have to think about the gas and what yeah there's this business but anywho 
uh, that's what I've been doing with my week and whatnot. Let's hope that next week is going to be a lot of fun. And who knows, right? Next next week will be fun. Yeah. So, anywho, <coughs> if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at thembshowgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at the MBS show, and show. And my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. And also, please subscribe and read us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And Stitch Radio. And also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyLive.com. Links are in the show notes. Hmm. I do notice that I don't... Yeah, iTunes up there. So, so anyway. Um, also, do subscribe to the Review and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitch Radio. Over there, you'll catch me, Silver Quill, Sapphire, Heart Song, Terra, reviewing the... Pony episodes, comics, movies, and whatever is in between. Um, last time we talked about whatever is in between, it was Avengers Endgame. Yay! Yay! Wait, did that came up for you guys or not? I don't remember. I think the last time that came out for you guys was... Ah, oh man. The, the Patreon got the... Uh, what you want to call this? Avengers Endgame. You, you, you guys on the YouTube will get it soon enough. And talking about Patreons, right? <laughs> if you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash the MBS show. With every support, you get a week's early access to review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about thank yous, I'd like to thank Amy, Lucky Knight, Tristan, Starstream, Jeffrey, and also myself, like thank you so much, guys. You're great, and um, I'm just gonna take this opportunity to talk about um, behind the scenes stuff with uh, the review and discussion podcast. Um, recently, well, not really recently. Um, tomorrow or the Sunday of this week's recording, we will be doing well. Uh, the season 9 premiere 1 and 2 and then we'll be doing something else for the back end uh, I'm not sure yet uh, I'm sure we already discussed it in the discord for uh, the review crew that's there so yeah uh, just letting you guys know if you do support the patreon you'll get a week's early access to that and it's a lot of fun, I guess. I mean, if you really want to know our opinion and get the hits up, it's a good way. And you know what? I, I might do something in the future um, asking the Patreons and also YouTubes for well, some Q&A. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, if you guys are interested in the idea, do let me know down in the comments below. That way I can gauge it and... Uh, maybe ask you guys what you want to know. Maybe you like to ask Silver what his favorite ice cream is. Or maybe you want to ask Totera what his favorite Pokemon is. I think it's going to be a Charizard. And maybe you want to know me. Um, what is my phone? Yes. Maybe you want to ask me what, what phone I'm using. The answer is an iPhone. <laughs> So anywho, yeah, uh, if you're interested in uh, maybe Q&A, just uh, write it down below here in the comments and, uh, you know, just see how it goes. Um, say you're interested and I'll see what I can do. Maybe it'll be a lot of fun. Maybe no. Maybe it'll be annoying. I don't know. But anywho, yeah, uh, that will be in future projects. So anywho, I have been Norman Sanzo. And I'll guys catch, <laughs> and I will catch you guys next week with a, another fun episode of the MBS show. See ya. <laughs>